I missed my flight to Atlanta. <laughs> I had a 7 a.m. flight. I slept right through it. I kind of knew I was going to. Don't know why. I, uh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I booked it so early. But my alarm went off at 5. I just was like, whatever, fuck it. I'll just rebook it when I wake up. <clears throat> so that's what I did. It cost me like 70 bucks to rebook it through Delta, but it was worth it. Cause I was gonna have to Uber anyway. <clears throat> and that would have cost me like 50 bucks. Now Alice can take me in a Tesla. It all sort of balances out. I got to spend more time with her and the dogs. So we landed on thick Omar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Nice trot, dude. Nice trot. For a show? Are you getting ready for a show? Hey, you getting ready for a show? How many weeks out? How many weeks out? Oh. So we have made it to Atlanta. The flight was good. Uh, this Airbnb is pretty cool. It's definitely like a couple's house that still lives here, but it's cool. It's like my vibe, sure. And of course, as soon as I walk in, there is a Zia, a New Mexican Zia on the table. So that was a nice little mind fuck. The guy that I sat next to on the plane could not have reminded me of Trey anymore. Pink shirt. Trey was known for a pink, pink button up. Just like everything about him, like the belly laugh. It was so fucking crazy. And then the stuff we talked about, like nothing like exactly pinpointed or anything, but there's this stuff that like, just weird shit, you know what I mean? But exciting shit, that shit makes me feel crazy, but it makes me feel good. It makes me feel connected to like superpowers. You know? <laughs> so people can think I'm nuts or whatever, but I can like literally feel Trey's presence. And it's just weird. It makes me feel crazy, but I can't ignore the fact that there's a fucking Zia in Atlanta and the dude next to me is it literally looks like if Trey had made it to like 70 and was a little bit bigger. Fucking nuts. Um, Atlanta's hot as shit. I am already melting. I've had a meltdown. I couldn't find my Airbnb at first. So I had a little freak out, but we're here. It's hot. Uh, today is gonna be mellow. I'm gonna answer some emails. I gotta go run out and get a torch. I have to buy a fucking dab torch on every stop of this trip. But uh, but the Airbnb sick. I don't know, we're in Cabbage Town, Atlanta. I don't know much about the area. I used to spend a lot of time in Atlanta when I was a kid, but all downtown. So we'll see what we can get into. We decided to stay in and get vegan pizza. This is the vegan meat lovers pizza. It's quite an interesting box, I like it. Beyond meat, sausage, and beef. Mm. It's easy to eat vegetarian shit when it's available, but not always available. Today I had salmon on the plane. That's a first. I never, never eat on the fucking plane. But the salmon was actually pretty good. Shout out Delta. Oh yeah, it was pretty good. But I've been starving ever since I started not eating meat. Well, I haven't, I tweeted it today. I haven't eaten meat in like two weeks or maybe three. I don't even know. And uh, I'm just starving all the time. Ridiculous starving. I can't eat enough. We had a middle-aged mom that would scream and want to return everything she bought. So this pizza, it's almost gone. I already ordered a second pizza because this shit is so good. I did not expect, I mean, I haven't really eaten today except for the plain salmon, plain fish, air fish. Not plain fish, but plain fish. But yeah, man, this shit is really good. I might fuck around and just eat this the whole time I'm in Atlanta. Cool, it's good. There's another one coming. Different flavor this time because this one has meat and peaches and jalapenos. Fucking whatever, bro. Let's see what happens. Although there's no drinks. So hopefully there's a drink machine or something close by. All right, the second pizza is here. Ooh, look at that thing. Damn, so I bet it's just fire. It's really hot, I don't eat it yet. Shit is fucking fire. I'm gonna be able to eat all this. It's good, I need a drink. I'm going to bed. <coughs> so. I've checked in today, but 
it's not early. I was gonna wake up early. I did not wake up early. And then even when I woke up, I kind of just like fucked around here. It's like afternoon. It's uh, 12.15. I don't know what to do today. It's hotter than fucking Satan's dick outside. Gonna be inside for most of it. Uh, one thing that people always suggest. So here's the thing about traveling. I spent a lot of time in Atlanta when I was a kid. I wouldn't say I've spent a lot of time here as an adult. So I saw a lot of things, but those things have changed. So maybe you'll go back and see what they're like now. But the one big suggestion that you always get here is the Coke, World of Coke, which my father used to take me to, uh, which was actually super cool back in the day. I would, we would go every time, I would be obsessed. They're like, Dad, every time we'd come to Atlanta, I was like, we have to go to the Coke factory, is what I would call it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back and see what it's like now. I haven't been in probably like 10 years, and I remember even 10 years ago or so, they remodeled it and it was not the same. There used to be like, Soda, but it wasn't, I found out later it wasn't actually the soda, but I was convinced as a child that the soda shot through the air and into your cup, you know what I mean? Like, it was amazing. I swear to God, the soda shot through the fucking air, but I don't think that's how it happened. I think it shot through the air and then it came out of a soda dispenser, but I was fucking convinced that that was my soda shooting through the air, dog. So, we're gonna go down there and see what that's like. Maybe we hit the aquarium, even though I've, I've been there probably 10 times, but still, again, 10 years ago, so I don't know. And Ern went to the zoo, so now I'm feeling <laughs> feeling jealous, dog. I didn't get to go to the fucking zoo. No, I don't wanna go to the zoo. So we're gonna hit these streets, see what's up, find some food, see what's up with Atlanta. I texted some people, but anybody hit me back. Tony D didn't hit me back, it's kinda fucked up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just hit it this morning. I actually talked to him on the phone the other day. Forgot to tell him I was coming to the land. The right turn on Crawlick Street. I've never been this way before. You've never been this way before? No. Oh, crazy. I live in Konya. It's a long way from here. Your job brings you here. Yeah, you go they where the road takes you. Yeah. This is a cool little... Uh, what goes on in here? I have no idea, man. I, I haven't been to Atlanta yeah, in like yeah, 10 yeah, years. Like a, it's like a cemetery to me. It looks like a cemetery to yeah, you? this one, yeah. Hell yeah. With all the darkness. It does. It looks like a, a art tomb. For sure. I can feel that. I like it, though. You like it? Yeah, you don't like it, huh? You know, white people like art. <laughs> Uh, white people, white people like <laughs> things to do with art. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not I'm, just white people, though, I'm, right? I'm, I mean, I'm from Africa. Yeah, we don't we don't have time for this? You don't have time for this. Okay. <laughs> we go to the bush and kill deer. Uh, no, but you're not there right now, yeah, you're so right. you can appreciate it now, right? Like stop, like you're gotta, right, you're right. I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate that, but also I understand what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, here now. Once I've, once I've changed my environment, yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> possibly I should. Be. Yeah, but I feel you. White people do like a lot of silly stuff. <laughs> so. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying it. Left white people white. like good stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes, most times. sometimes most, they like silly most stuff. Most times, that's why they develop. <laughs> white people, you might think, I, I see this as nonsense. Yeah. But a white man would look at it and get some sense out of it. So, some, but some white man look at that and call it uh, trash. Exactly. That kind of stuff, you know. They, yeah, if it's not... Yeah. With the mad the combination of the black and blue and pep, mm -hmm. uh, turquoise color and all that. This is actually, you know, that type of art is actually more of a representation of, of somebody's mental situation. But no, like the urban community bringing their art to the forefront because you have so, so many because, rules. Because they don't have they don't have a place have, to put their art. They don't have forest and things to go and play in. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. But also, if, so, you're, if you're making art, you know, and you want to get into a gallery and you can't get into a gallery, uh -huh. the streets become the gallery. That's the, the street is their area. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, their yeah, gallery. You. So and, you know, children that are brought up in high-rise buildings. Mm -hmm. When they're going somewhere, the parents bring them down. Mm -hmm. As soon as they get to the ground floor and they see open space, they start to run. Mm -hmm. Try and make that observation. The moment they come out, they get the least chance. <laughs> they just they, make, they, they make a break for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah tra artists must travel. You travel a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Always on the move. Yeah, absolutely. Got to keep your brain moving, you know? You work for yourself? Yes, sir. And uh, God gives you enough to live off? Yeah, more than enough. Yeah, oh, it's good. it's been great. I've been able to help my friends. I've been oh, able to yeah help people who are in trouble, Beautiful. give away some money. You know, like oh, God bless yeah, it's been really That's nice. a bit a long road, a long rough road, but, but it's, you, you you get there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just um, you know just believing in yourself really. And, 
waking up every day, being happy to wake up every day, you know? There's not, after that, everything else is a blessing. Yeah, waking up and being in good health. Exactly, yeah. I, mean, I lost my mentor a couple of weeks ago. He passed. And, in, 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 in Colorado? Uh, he actually is in New Mexico. Oh, young man. Yeah, young but lived a long life, you know, like a, a quality life. Yeah, yeah, a very rich life. Passed very suddenly. Fast life is a fast life. The genes can determine how long. Yeah, it's it just gotta look, depends on how you look at it, right? Yeah. You know, like if you believe that God or the universe has a plan yeah. and everything has a timing, then there's yeah. nothing to fear. You know, it's just you're just here. <laughs> nice talking. Yeah, likewise. Stay safe out there. All right, thank you. They give you a coke before you go in. Back in the day, they made you wait to the end, and you were like dying with thirst, and then you got a coke. Where it says drink Coca-Cola five cents. That was the wonderful price of a Coca-Cola back in the good old days. 1953. That would be the first time we would advertise in the African American community. Interesting about that bottle opener. That happened to be a billboard right here in downtown Atlanta. So far, it's kind of like whatever. I mean, it's just coke. It's, it's cool, but it's not like there's no shooting soda yet. We're gonna go to the tasting room. Tasting room. I haven't tasted anything yet because I know the stuff from other countries is wild. You like them all? I don't think I've ever heard that one from, in this place before. Well, no, you know, Jesse's I, uh, one. I didn't. Not... I didn't try this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, these were all quality. None of <laughs> none of them. Yeah, this is like the banana one, right? <laughs> yeah. Fanta exotic is where it's at, you know, dog. Uganda's got it going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. I like the mission. We uh, left Coca-Cola. Jay called me, so I had to have a conversation with Jay. Not the best conversation. He, uh, I guess, had to like, I don't know. I guess he had to defend himself in prison. So there's that situation happened, and then I was sitting there, and this homeless guy who is staying at this mission, like right over there, came and talked to me. And I don't know, man. I guess he just needs somebody to talk to because he kind of like broke down and started crying and I don't, I don't know I just gave him some advice and I don't know I mean it's like really weird right now like everything's really crazy uh, I don't know things feel very in tune or just noisy I don't even know how to like, describe how I feel weird anomalies or whatever you want to call them but this is Olympic Park or Centennial Park which was built for the Olympics in 96 I remember this shit went down I came here around the Olympics, during the Olympics. I don't remember. I know we were here a lot. Kind of just walking, headed towards the Atlanta underground because it's like a mile away. It's hotter than fuck, but we're out here. Need to find some water. Here, look at that. I said I need to find some water. Get sprayed with the water. You're like a tall Monopoly man. <laughs> Does he have a monocle? He's got a mustache. His monocle's in his pocket. I had to uh, oh, I had to abort mission to the underground, bro. It is so hot that I feel like I'm gonna collapse. And the vlog camera, I left the battery at home, 1%. And it's hot, battery, and the camera is overheating, it's so fucking hot. I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit. I'll let the sun go down maybe, start to go down, and then go back out. Cause it is way too fucking hot. The big question about the Coke, places if they had new coke which they don't have but they do have sprite lemonade which is a new one 
least that's what they said. I don't know. I'm not really up to just par on my new sodas. 